Hi guys, got a request from Ayaz Mahmood to make a crossbow from newspaper, rubber bands and tape and nothing else. And it's got to have a trigger mechanism. It's also got to shoot 60 feet. Now normally I just say no because I don't do weapons. But in truth I've done a couple of uh, lightweight ones and I suppose I can put a disclaimer on this that you mustn't point it at anybody, you have to use it safely. I've no doubt this is a school project. So we got a newspaper here. The logical thing is to make a lot of paper tubes because then they've got strength. Stick them together and make a crossbow. There are loads of videos on YouTube on how to do it already. So feel free to look elsewhere. But I'll give it a go, see what we can do. Got a couple of tubes here to wrap it round. Just to give us something to get started on. Yeah, that's, that's going. I will speed up the video because this is going to be incredibly boring watching me wrap up lots of bits of paper. And then we need some tape. Didn't say only limit limit on the amount of tape you could use. So I'm going to wrap this all the way around. So that's our first one. Doesn't feel terribly strong to me, but until we've actually tried to use it, I don't know. I'll do another load of them. I'll do four or five, I think. Well, I've done six tubes at the moment. I'm planning to use three taped together that's the cross piece and three taped together that's the um, shaft or what if we call it I need a tube to go over the end as the guide and then we need to work out what we're going to do at the other end as some sort of trigger mechanism Tape three together. If we just fold a piece of paper in half. That should give us the center. I'll join these three together and then we'll tape them in the middle. So we've got our basic crossbow shape. We could add some strengthener cross pieces. We'll see how we go. What I'm going to do now is make a small tube. 
by wrapping some paper around this battery as the guide that will sit on the top there. Well that tube didn't work very well. It's already coming loose on the inside so I'll have to do that again but I'll have to tape the first bit in place so it can't start coming loose again. stop it coming loose on the inside. Right, that seems to have stopped the inside coming loose. It's not very strong, but it doesn't need to be. It's just a guide. To stop the end coming loose, or unfolding, I've put a bit of tape around that I'm going to cut into little tails, or whatever you want to call them, and then fold them in. Or oh, petals, I suppose you could call that. Yeah, that should stop the paper coming loose. So that's what we want to be able to use. Use that as the guide for our projectile to go through. To join it together, I'm putting quite a few pieces just straight round like that. And then I'm going to wrap round there to hold those pieces in place. So that's our basic crossbow shape. that on top don't want to pull this too tight or it'll crush So I'm not pulling this tight. Right, we'll make a projectile of some sort and just see if the basic idea works. I've used a thinner stick to wrap the paper round for the projectile. And I've only used a single half sheet of paper. So we'll put some rubber bands on it and just try the general idea, see if it actually shoots. Right, we'll give it a test fire. We haven't got any trigger mechanism yet, so I'm just going to hold it with my thumb. Oh, 
Okay, we did the length of my kitchen. So that's five meters. And then we're about another two meters back. So seven meters, seven threes, 21 feet. Yeah, obviously we can strengthen the rubber bands. I'm still not looking at a release mechanism yet, or trigger mechanism. I'm looking at the aerodynamics and the balance of the projectile. Because I've noticed that it just falls out the sky. So I've been adding weight to the front at the moment. I've got lots of tape on the very front to try and get it to go straight. Because I think that makes quite a difference. So when it just falls out the sky, you're losing all its momentum. Yeah, we're now getting the full length of my conservatory, kitchen and hallway, which is uh, just short of... Uh, Five, eight, twelve meters, I think. Twelve threes. We're still only 36 feet though, so a long way short of 60 feet. Well, the good news is I just went outside, tried it outside so I could point it up and get a bit of trajectory and angle, and we achieved about 20 paces. I paced it out, so we'll call that 60 feet or thereabouts. So we've got about the right sort of distance. We now need to think of some way of having a release mechanism or trigger. You might notice I've got a bit of tape on there. That's to hold the bands together. So I might be able to work out, I don't know, some way of Putting a little bit of... Well, it's got to be newspaper, though, hasn't it? That's a problem. Something, to, you know, some hook there to hold it that we can pull out the way and release it. Hmm. I have to think about that. I've been toying around trying to make some sort of trigger mechanism from folded newspaper and not getting very far. This works, but it's very unreliable. So I left a message for Ayaz, and he's come back and said the trigger mechanism doesn't have to be newspaper. You can make it out of anything you like. So I've had a look from my scrap box. This is the remains of one of those wooden kits. Uh, that's where the wheels were, I think or something like that. Anyway, I was looking at this and I think that piece just there looks like a trigger. So I think if I drill a hole in it up here somewhere to pivot it and make the front bit here into the hook, cut a slot in the back here, then we should be able to have a trigger that moves like that. So I'll go and cut this out the way I want it and try it. So there's my piece of plywood. Got a barbecue skewer through there. That's the pivot point. But other than that, all I've done is just cut out that piece of wood. So that's the hook for the rubber band. And then as you pull that back, that will release the rubber band. That's on there. And away we go. Flatten the end of this a bit 
so it's easier to catch the rubber band as it goes as it's released so works now we've got to do is find out if we can get the distance uh, it's half past ten at night so we'll have to wait for daylight 